Hello, and today we would like to look at the question of, of why did Skype for Business drop my call when I answered? Atlantis Technologies, uh, we work with thousands of very heavy enterprise voice users um, every day. We support with Attendant Pro, our Skype for Business attendant console. Uh, we support uh, thousands of users in over 40 countries, and so we see it's interesting from our perspective to see the kind of support incidences that come in when people are using Skype for Business uh, in enterprise voice scenarios. And one of the questions our support gets uh, repeatedly is, why did Skype for Business drop my call when I answered? Uh, so we're looking at the scenario, the answer, and the person isn't there, what's going on? Um, the scenario is the user has an incoming call, they click answer, and uh, the call seems to have been dropped because no one's there after the answer. And the question is, why did Skype for Business drop my call? Over the years, we've had this, this, this question come to us multiple times as support incidences. We've dug into them at the log level, looked very closely, uh, investigating the client logs, in some cases investigating the server logs. And what we have noticed is two items that repeatedly come up on our radar. Number one, the remote user or the person that's calling into the Skype for your business user hung up essentially at the same time the Skype for business user answered um, or at the same time or slightly after. And then it appears to the, the Skype for business user as if the call was just dropped by Skype for business when really it was a remote user hanging up. And then number two, and this one's a little bit of a surprise, uh, the local user does not understand their headset or has some setting that is inadvertently hanging it up. Um, so in Attendant Pro, talking about number two first, uh, in Attendant Pro we have some uh, sophisticated logging that lets us know exactly everything the attendant console user did, where they clicked. Um, and we can see if Attendant Pro or the user did something. And what we see in some cases is that the headset is sending a disconnect. Um, and uh, so how can you take care of that scenario? So now we'll go into how can you take care of this? What we have often recommended, just try another headset, a simpler headset, um, one that doesn't have quite as many buttons and things happening and see if it still, if it still happens. Um, it, our experience is that sometimes the settings aren't correct. They're picking the heads up and it's hanging, down, hanging up instead of picking up, something like that. So try a simpler headset. That's one scenario. So on the other scenario where the user or the remote caller is hanging up around the same time as the Skype for Business user is answering, it's quite hard to actually determine this without looking at the logs. Um, if the remote user hangs up before the Skype for Business user answers, there could be a missed call, so you can see it that way. But if they answer at the same time or a little after, Skype for Business does not indicate very well that the remote user hung up. Um, so it would be really nice is if you get a little notification, the remote user hung up. Usually it's a little more blind. I mean, actually, Skype for Business doesn't give you really an indication. It just hangs up. So um, that you almost have to toss to support and let them dig it up. Uh, the good thing is the tools are getting better. Uh, Office 365 Cloud PBX is going to get some really good tools. Um, it would be kind of nice if there'd be a little feedback in the client. The remote user hung up at the moment there isn't. So, what is the most common reason for Skype for Business users reporting a call dropped when they answer? Number one, the remote user hung up just about the same time they answered. Number two, not quite understanding the headset. Thanks.